Basically, what I'm, all I'm going to do is just uh, import the uh, latest track up file, which was from West Ham game last week. So I'm just going to click on the file, and then I'm going to click import, import track up data. And then I'm going to go to desktop where the file is. Just going to find my file, which is West Ham. Open it up. Click on the metadata, which is the XML file. Obviously, we played away at uh, Upton Park, so I'll just click away team, and then I just set selected team, and then also I'll just import and convert the XYZ track of data into Statsport Survivor. So I just wait that for that to occur. So what I'm going to do is look at the uh, game, the track of data that's been previously drilled from a few weeks ago, which was at Aston Villa. And then look at the how the two players have been overloaded in comparison to their uh, game load threshold. So I'm going to click on the two fullbacks of the day, which are Seamus Coleman and Lane Baines. Uh, click on session. Then click on player comparison. And then click on percentage of match threshold. And then finally, I'm going to click on first half and second half. So the data that's been drilled. So the, now the data's loaded, you can see that uh, in terms of the game, you can see that for those players, those players were, in terms of number of sprint efforts and distance in zone 6, which is sprint distance over 7 metres per second squared, were overloaded. And they also had an overload in terms of the high speed uh, running equation, whereas the excels and decel profiles were down for that match day. So this would give us information in terms of what players have been overexposed to so more of that sort of linear high-end speed related work which could tell us that that could have a, uh, an influence in terms of um, normal fatigue in terms of going into that match day minus four uh, match day minus four training session the next week uh, so it has lots of implications in terms of how players have been loaded, loaded so how we can actually plan and implement their training week the following week through So all I'm going to show you now is um, obviously the link up between the uh, the video and the tracker file. So yeah, as you can see, we've got the uh, activity profile at the bottom, and as you can see, we can see obviously we're focused on Leighton Baines in the activity. So this is tracking Leighton Baines activity profile during the game. To expand this a little bit. So obviously the big the big thing of this in terms of uh, in terms of training and rehab exposure is looking in terms of um, plotting the accelerations and deceleration profiles against this, and also looking at the high metabolic load efforts during the game as well.